Hi, my name's Owen Beersmore from Service UK. I spend most of my time out in the woods, guiding people and hunting professionally. I put my kit through a lot of stick, and in the last 12 months, I've been using these Santium BX5 Santium HGs. I picked the 10B42s because of how lightweight they were, how durable, nice fit in my hand, and I really have put them through the paces. Whether it's out in the British woodlands that we're in today, or at pouring rain, out on the hill in Scotland or up in the mountains of the Alps. They have performed absolutely perfectly. I've given them so much stick and I've been so impressed with how they I was expecting them to fail, but they didn't. And um, really good as well. For those last light moments when you're looking for Muntjac, they've been really good. Loophole have put a special coating on the lenses, which gives great clarity, it doesn't fog up, and brightness edge to edge. It's really good at last light or first thing in the morning when it's just breaking light and you really need to identify those things before the bright colours come through. The BX5 Santiums come with their Pro Gear pack, which is a nice soft case, which you can either have, wear it on here and put it in there. Uh, the lens caps uh, and a soft adjustable uh, harness that goes over your neck that's really comfortable. Some of the previous ones I've had, this one's great, adjustable here, and you can clip it on and off here if you've got a bino pouch that you want to put it in or transfer it to for the worst of the weathers. I chose a 10 power binocular, um, but they're also available in 12 and 15 magnification. I prefer the 10s myself, just for all round glassing, whether I'm in a little bit of woodland or I'm out on the open hill looking. They're waterproof, they're fog proof, and tested down to 10 meters or 33 foot. So they're gonna cost you between a grand and 1500 pound, depending on what magnification you go for. But I think it's well worth the investment when it's back with that guarantee that Leupold are either gonna replace it or repair it. And that also is extended to whoever owns it. So it's not just the person that's purchased it, it's the person who owns it and is using it, if it does fail. But uh, I can't see from all what I've been doing, I'm actually failing.